Hey guys, Trish here at PrettyLizards.com, and tonight I have the dirty girl herself, Lena Lena Cochina. Hola. And of course, Christina. Hello. There she is. Uh, we are missing Nirvana. We are unsure if she's coming or not. I think she maybe just didn't wake up. So, if she pops in, you will see her at the bottom, and then we'll get her in the conversation with whatever we're talking about. So really quickly, let's um, go ahead and catch up on what everybody's been up to. Lena, do you want to start? Sure. Um, I don't have much to say from last week. Um, nothing new. Nothing new at all. Did you hear about your support group or did you email that lady back or... Um, no, I did not write her back, but I'm going to have to wait. Well, actually, you know what? I could send a message to one of the ladies that attends both the Fremont group and that group, and I believe she was going to go this Saturday. So I could message her and find out if she went and see what they said. I'm actually very interested to know, but at the same time, maybe I don't want to know, because if they did say something that I don't agree with or take personal, then things might not be, t you know, good for me to know. So I'm still in the should I ask or not. I think know? I'd want to know, but that's yeah. just me. I want to know if someone's talking about me or why they're not talking about me. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure if not, I'm pretty sure a lot of my um, friends from support group I'll ask her if she ended up going on Saturday or not and ask them, you know, what they talked about. So either way, I'll find out. So we won't, we, I won't, you guys out here won't find out till next week. Actually, no, because it's only the first and third Thursday. So our next group, oh, no, no, yeah, because, I'll, yeah, we'll see next week if we know. <laughs> well, next week, um, we can go ahead and announce we are going to have Jennifer Bleacher on from The Naked Truth, and I'm really excited to have her. She's never been on our show, and um, if you guys have any questions for her, no subjects off limits, send them to one of us, and we will ask her, um, and we're going to see what's going on with The Naked Truth, see what the future is for them, and um, so on on that. I'm really excited to have Jennifer. So, Christina... What about you? Do you want to update us? Um, same old, trying to get better. Just feeling lousy. So, this here. I do have to say you look much better at home than you do at the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> you're looking good. Your color's coming back, and... Yeah. I'm excited, and we get to see you in a few weeks, so that's really exciting. <laughs> well, um, I guess I'll update. I haven't been going to water aerobics this week because it's like a hundred and bazillion outside, so instead, Mar and I have been working out at home. Um, I'm, today, I did a walk by myself. I went to the, to the pond that I like to go to and think about stuff, and i um, still keeping active even though I can't get in the water but I'm is hoping it a, hmm? is it an outdoor pool yes it's an out Ooh. it's in the water park got it yeah and it's like at the heat of day so it, it's like really hot and and then the um, sun the way it hits the water yeah some burn sun burn yeah and I burn really easy and the medicine that I'm on for my crazy pills woo -hoo, oh no 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 it doesn't get all well with stuff. sun yeah, so, um, but other than that, um, I, I've i just been cleaning like a crazy person. Um, it's funny because my husband comes home and he's like, who is this person? Like, <laughs> like you can tell what I've done all day instead of sitting on the couch and getting fatter. So, um, it's awesome. I really like it. Good. That's good. That's um, exercise both mental and physical. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If, it's it good. feels so, yeah, it feels so good to like see something cluttered and not know where everything's at. To see it all organized and cleaned up and stuff, yeah, is really good. 
And not only that, but I think whenever you move around and you push things and carry things, um, it it just it it makes you um, instead of sitting around feeling sorry about your, for yourself, you just you you can put your energy on something else, and that's always exactly. good. Exactly, because now not only you are looking good, but your house is looking good too. Yeah. So I'm excited to see um, what what the future holds for once. I can say that. Mm -hmm. But um, other than that, I finally got out of the 400s, and awesome. um, I did a happy dance, and I got to order some new Chuck Taylors because I've been wanting ones with skulls on them. Those and are so cute. I love them. I need them for my collection. No, mine, mine first. I need them for my collection. I'm a mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a Chuck freak. I, I am have, too. I have chucks on right now. I wear chucks every day. I can't. I I oh, just cannot I, I get away with them. I don't wear chucks every day. I wear chucks half the week, and the rest of the half week I have on big old comper stompers. <laughs> Once in a while I have sandals on, but it's either really high shoes or my chucks. Well, um, before we get into the topic of hygiene, which is a really important topic. Um, I kind of wanted to touch on something that I talked about in my video this week, and um, that's to remember to be kind to each other. Even if we don't like each other, we have to be kind to each other. Um, there's been a lot of weight loss community drama, and um, really? I don't like that. Really? <laughs> did, this really? Just, did this just like start this week? I hadn't noticed. No, it's always it's always going on, but I would really like to see it just go away. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really it's really really sad. It's like high school, and you know, even though you're not in school anymore, um, I thought being a bully and being bullied would be over in school, but it's not. Adults bully, and it's pathetic. Yeah. So I think what I think you, it's really sad is that a lot of people forget where they came from. Oh, yes. You know what I mean? It's like they lose their weight in their body, but their head, like, balloons up. Yeah. And I think it's really sad. Like you said, it's, it's, it's childish. And unfortunately, we were talking about this um, with my other friends uh, from support group, and... Um, one brought up a really good point is that when they were in junior high and high school, if they were heavy set and bullied or whatever the story was, they weren't able to live their life like teenagers and be all crazy and do teenager things and and stuff. And now that they've lost their weight, they're like playing catch up kind of thing, and you know, and they want to go back to that, and that's why they're being the way they are, really childish and bullying and all this drinking and everything and it makes sense and I think maybe we do stuff not not specifically bullying or or anything like that but we may catch ourselves doing stuff that we didn't do in high school mm -hmm. you know good not 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 saying bad things but like just good things or things we weren't able to do and now we can after losing weight or whatever but the whole bullying thing, the whole being mean to people, thinking you're better than people, it's like, don't forget where you came from, people. Don't forget you were that bigger person. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yep. It's really sad. It's really, really sad. And you're right. I see it, you know, constantly. And that's why, you know, I'm losing out in a lot of good things on Facebook. But I'm just going through a lot of emotional things right now that going on Facebook really doesn't help because it seems like the majority is negative stuff mm -hmm. and bullying and stuff that I, I just, I stay away from it. And I don't think it's fair um, for me to lose out on the good things, but I'm just in a stage right now that I just need to stay away from that. And there is a lot of that out there. A lot. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that, um, for me... This week, I, I just kind of came to the realization of, you know, even though I don't like somebody, like, I, I don't I don't need to sit there and talk about it. I don't need to harp on, like, how I don't like this person. Just get them out of my life. And if someone doesn't benefit you in any way, like, mentally or whatever, um, just push that uh, erase button, you know, delete it. Yeah, Keep going. 
yeah, it's easier on you know online. It's like if we have somebody like that in person, it's hard to get rid of them. If mm -hmm. it's somebody we see on a daily basis or you know a loved one or whatever, but on Facebook, it is. It's so easy just delete the person and everything, you oh. know. But sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes it's even you don't know if to delete that person or not till. It gets out of hand sometimes. We wait till then, I guess. You know what I mean? I know. I just delete yeah, and I don't onward. Know. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I would like to know what everybody else thinks about bully. Maybe we'll have a topic about that. I think we've already talked about it before. I think we, we've talked about it um, like we have right now, just as a little conversation, but we haven't actually made a show about bullying and I think um, that would be a very interesting show you know to talk about bullying now and bullying back in the days you yeah know, when you were younger or whatever you know I I never got bullied um, I was popular growing up in school and everything Unfor you know um, the good thing is not unfortunate but the good thing is I don't know what it is to be bullied you know but there's a lot um, of us in the weight loss community that probably gained a lot of their weight because they were already a little overweight and the bullying didn't help. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, we have the ones that are getting bullied right now. So it would, I think it would be a very, very good show to have and I'm pretty sure we could fill the whole hour just talking <laughs> about that and have, uh, seriously, and having people, um, you know, comment about that and, and everything. Sad but true, but I think we could fill a whole hour about that. You know, Michael May, I don't I don't know what's going on in his world or whatever, but um he posted something earlier that was like something about people being, you know, messy or whatever in life. And it's just important to remember that not everybody's motives are as, as pure as yours or as good as yours. People want to just hold on to anything bad and, you know, run with it gossip about it and just I hate that it's just it's, it's not, not a good trait mm -mm. Christina don't talk about me gossiping because you know I gossip with you all the time <laughs> Christina's like stop gossiping no. <laughs> but yeah what do you think about that topic Christina about bullying yeah <laughs> And there's a lot of bullying everywhere, especially in the weight loss community. Yep. I agree. Let me see if we have any comments really quickly. Um, my mom says hello, ladies. Hola. Hi. I'm excited. Tomorrow we're going to go see uh, one of my best friends in Oklahoma. She's about to have a baby. So, um, yeah, we're going to go see her and my Oklahoma, which is her first baby. Um, he's five, so I'm really excited to see my babe. Okay, you're going to Oklahoma? Uh-huh, to see my Oklahoma. You need, you need to come to Oakland. <laughs> soon, Lena, soon. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> um, only if you'll snuggle me. Girl, more than that. Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, uh, Tiffany Journey says, hi, beautiful ladies. I am here waiting. Uh, wake me up, Bia. She says, hey, ladies. Glad to see you, Christina. Hi. Wake, me wake me up, you said? Yeah, wake me up, BSG. Wake me up before you go, go. Sorry, just had to do that. Just <laughs> she just had her surgery. Oh, really? Uh, recently. Well, welcome to the Luther's bench. So let's get on the, the topic of uh, hygiene. Uh, Lena wanted to bring this up last week, so we ran with it. So what's your advice, uh, Lena, on some hygiene? Well, <laughs> where do I start? Shower, people. Shower up. <laughs> um, on a serious note, though, um, where do I start? Um, okay. I think it's very important to, um, you know, wash up every day when you have a lot of loose skin and, like, what do I call the rose? 
Roly polies. Roly polies. Roly polies. When you have a lot of roly polies, you got to keep them dry. That's very, very, very important. So we have people on here that don't shower every day. And not on this show. Not on this show. No, 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 no. Hold on. It's not, I'm not going so we're bad with this. There's people that don't shower every day and they'll shower one day and then one day yes, one day no, one day yes, one day no, whatever. And on the second day, they'll like wash up but not in the shower, like clean up kind of thing. And a whore bath. Huh? A whore bath. I guess. My mom is famous for a whore bath. Okay. So, um, <laughs> it's a proven fact to me that that doesn't work. You know, baby wipes and all of that have chemicals on there that um, they don't they don't really help. I've proven that I proved this with my baby nephew twenty something years ago. Okay, because if once I changed his diaper and I cleaned him up with baby wipes and desitin and all that good stuff, he still would get a a, a diaper rash. But if I would clean up a really good diaper, you know, baby wipes and everything, and then once I did the, all that, and then I took him to the bathroom and washed his little bottom with soap and water and dried him up, he mm -hmm. wouldn't get a baby rash. He just, he wouldn't. You know, but sometimes that was impossible because we were out in the street and I just had to do baby wipes, whatever, and he would get a rash just by me using the baby wipes. Mm -hmm. So then, you know... Once um, I started losing my weight, and this has happened so many times, lose weight, lose weight, lose, gain, lose, gain, lose, gain. You know, I the same thing happens for me. If I take a shower, you know, and I wash up and I dry really good, and I never change till after I do my makeup and everything because I hate, you know, doing my makeup and getting, for some reason, lip liner fall on, falls when I'm doing and it falls on my shirt and destroys it. Yeah, angry, angry. So I don't change... I don't put clothes on till after I'm all done up. Mm -hmm. So once I'm uh, done all up, I make sure I'm still dry. Make sure I'm still dry before I put my clothes on, you know? When I go to the restroom, I make sure, you know, everything's dry right there. What we were talking about last week, hoo-hahs, make Your sure you're dry. Fun? Yes, make sure that's all dried up. And, excuse me, and I don't get rushed up. I, for that one reason, my insurance won't pay to get my um, apron cut off because I don't have any sores or any rashes or anything, you know. So it's a good thing that I don't get that because I've heard it's very painful, but it's not a good thing because it's not to my advantage when it comes to getting um, my apron cut off. So I took a shower today. Cleaned up, kept clean all day. Tomorrow I'm being lazy, and it's 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I still haven't showered, right? I start noticing that I start getting itchy or start getting weird, even though when I go to the restroom, I have baby wipes and stuff, and I, and I keep clean, you know what I mean? But I notice that, you know, I start getting these weird um, itchy feeling or, or starting to get a little rash, Mm -hmm. So go in the shower, wash up with water and soap, and it goes away. So that's what I was saying about people not taking a shower every day. Not, not that you're nasty. You know, sometimes people do that. One day yes, one day no. But like you said, the whore bath or whatever you call it, to me, it doesn't work. Because for some reason, those chemicals and the wipes and all of that or, or just water and soap on a bath towel doesn't work. You need, like, serious water going mm -hmm. through all your roly-polies. So I think that's very, very important. The fountain of the roly polies. Yes, the roly polies. You lift your roly poly and you use the what do you call it? The shower head. Shower, yeah, the the little the, the, hand the detachable see the shower head, mm -hmm. detachable shower head, and you lift the roly polies, lift the boobies. <laughs> lift it's like I'm taking a shower with you, Lena. Yes, you know, do all that. But on a serious note, I think that works because it works for me. I Like I said, I don't have rushes. I don't have blisters. I don't have none of that, which, once again, doesn't work to my advantage because I can't get, you know, my stomach cut off because of that. But if I was yeah. all blistered up and all nasty down there, maybe the insurance would cover it. But 
hey, I'd rather not be in pain and all stinky and have my stomach hanging than the yeah. Neck. So that works for me. When I was at my biggest, I think um, the worst thing that, that would happen is like when it gets hot, you get those like heat rashes. I see I don't though I've never got those Ooh. the one thing I am having a problem with and I'm not ashamed to say it because once again you know a high percentage of our um people that watch we have the weirdos out here watching I see you watching us I'll see hi you. weirdos I'll see you watching us but the serious people that watch us to get information um the only problem not the only problem but the problem that I do have is once again the fupa you know, getting, um, I don't know what they're called. Like, I wish Nirvana was here because she gets the same thing. But because it's so big now and it's so squishy loose, mm -hmm. like, it doesn't stay in place. So, like, your jeans, like, cut between it. And I get A camel toe? Why you got to say that? Not even talking about that. Talking oh. about, geez. Besides that, we're talking about hygiene here, girl. Oh, I'm sorry. You had me a camel toe. <laughs> yeah. Well, I could share that. I could show and tell, but I'm not gonna. Girl, let me see that camel toe. Girl, girl, girl no. No, girl. Mm -mm. Let's see yours, Christina. Bust it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do like my jeans really tight, so, you know. But that's why I wear my long shirts to cover that up. To cover that camel toe up. That's right. But I do get, like, they're not blisters, but, um, I don't know what you would, like, little painful, like, little cysts or pimple-looking things or something. I forgot what they're called. Boils? Hey, there you go. Yes. Because of my weight loss. Because the doctor kept telling me, you have to keep dry, you have to keep dry. I'm like, dude. Like, seriously, um, I showered, like, four hours ago because by the time I got all did up and came all the way to this city, it's been four hours. You want to touch? That shit's dry. I keep my shit dry. It's only wet inside, not outside. Oh, oh Lena. Yes. I had Lena to throw that went in there. there. Yes, I did. But it's because, and my, my um, weight loss, um, surgery doctor, one of them, agreed with me because, you know, regular doctors don't know about us fluffy people. Yeah. But, you know, it, it is. It's like it's big and loose and gets squished with my tight jeans. Yes, I wear my jeans tight. Don't hate people. And so, you know, it gets sometimes smashed when you're sitting down in weird positions. Hey, hey, it happens. I'm sorry. Sometimes we got to adjust or how do what do the men do when they gotta gotta adjust yeah adjust yeah so like sometimes i gotta sit down back oh let me adjust that shit okay what do you think excuse me i'm just i'm adjusting my fupa there you go I'm, I'm, I'm sorry like that can you put like loose change in it oh silly interesting Hmm. Hey, there is a reason why I don't carry a purse around anymore most of the times. Oh, Lena. But yes, um, mm. I do get those once in a while. They're very painful, but they are not because I don't keep clean or keep dry. They are because my fupa is so big and loose now that it goes in places it shouldn't. Like just, I'm like a Rubik's cube. There you go, like a Rubik's cube. So, have you ever used any powders or any products or anything like that to keep? Dry? I no, because I don't have I don't have that problem. I do. I did get um, a recipe for a powder because they thought maybe that's what it was, but it's not that obviously. Um, but thank God, I really haven't had that kind of problem. But I do have it, like I said. Um, because I've noticed if I if I don't wash up, wash up, like in the morning or whatever, with water, then I will start feeling weird. And I'll be all like, I'll, you know, unfortunately, I could grab my stomach with one hand, like scoop it up to look under there. And I'll be like, oh, it's starting to turn pink. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
So, you know, I have that powder just in case that happens. But as soon as I start feeling weird, I'm like, okay, lazy bitch, get up and go in the shower. And then it just, it goes away. You know, H2O is good sometimes, people. Even if you just let the water run over you. Yeah, seriously. Seriously, though. Yeah. Seriously, because like I said, sometimes those chemicals and stuff, you know, they stick on there and they don't, it doesn't help. And I, like I'm saying, I proved this a long time ago with my little nephew and his little bootie when he was a baby. That if we would rinse his little butt after we wiped them down clean and everything, he wouldn't get um, a diaper rash. Yeah. So. Well, I think that it's also important um, to um, not just stay dry, but to um, cleanse that area well, dry it, pat it out air dry, whatever you want to do. Um, mm -hmm. just, just make sure it's dry because you can get all kinds of infections, um, yeast infections. Um, okay. I'm going like to put scaly. it. Yeah. I'm going to put it out there too. Sometimes what you want to do, I know this is weird and I thought I was the only one that did it, but I found out a lot of people did it. I even seen it on TV that people do it. When you get out the shower, if you want to make sure it's complete, your roly polies and everything are completely dry, dry, dry while you get ready, like put a towel, like lift it and put a little washcloth there while you're getting ready. That way it, it absorbs all the the water. Because sometimes we don't, we you know, even if we're, my sister's over here going, I guess my sister's a blow dryer in her roly polies. Oh, she does. It's confirmed. <laughs> She uses a blow dryer. She presses on the cool setting and goes, Shh. like she must be there for hours because she got some big old boobies. I'm hating. She's not even big, is she? My sister's like my size. You're like my size right now, huh? She's like my size, but she got oh. some big old boobies. How big are they? My sister is like a 44 double D right now. Dang, I'm gonna st I'm gonna cuddle with her. She's Trisha wants to cuddle with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you heard that? Yeah. Tell her I want to be the little spoon. She wants to be the little spoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cheating spoon. So, um, yes, see, blow dryer. There we go. A blow dryer works for that, people. Or little washcloths or a big um, bath towel to put under your stomach, put in your, in, mm -hmm. under your fupa, put under your roly polies, under your boobies. Wherever you have the problem, try that, people. Try to, you know, once you get out the shower and you, you dry up, put that for a little bit for it to make sure, like, all the moisture gets sucked up and wash up every day. Like Trisha said, if, you know, even, even if you don't want to take a complete shower, like, you don't want to spend there half an hour doing whatever, just go in the shower and rinse off really good. Mm -hmm. Try that. Try that, you know. There's a little, a lot of little tricks out there, you know. Um, I don't have any tricks when it comes to rashes and all that because, like I said, I don't get them. But um, try powders, I guess. To me, I would think powders would help. I don't understand how creams work if that's the problem. Moisture. Why would you put something moist where it's moist? Kind of thing? I think it's that whatever's works. inside of it, but you know, if you do use a powder and it's a hot Texas day, you can make some paste, baby. Ooh. Okay. See, I don't know. Yeah. I can't help you with that then. Yeah. Well, thankfully, I don't have that problem anymore, but I have made plenty of paste in my day. Hmm. So, but um, what I hate is that. Um, I don't, I don't know if you've ever heard the whole fat people smell thing. Like, I would like that to just go away. Period. I don't, I don't think they'll ever go away. I think, um, how do I put this? Um, I shower every day. I keep clean. Like I said, when I go to the restroom, I make sure that I'm clean and, you know, whatever. But let's keep it real. Like, I'm pretty sure if I pick up my roly-poly right now and have my honey, like, smell, smell. It, it might not smell too good. You know what I mean? I don't know. But I'm not going out there pulling on everything. If that doesn't happen, I'm pretty sure that I do not smell. 
-hmm. You know, I'm pretty sure I do not smell. And like my honey makes fun of me because I'm like a um, body spray addict. Like mm -hmm. I go out the shower once I'm all dry. I'm like, he's like, didn't you just shower? Because I just love the way it feels and the way it smells. And then it goes in your pores. So when you do get hot, like your pores, once you start, like your pores started opening up, you give that yummy smell. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The sweet smell. Mm -hmm. But there is big people that smell. But there is a lot of skinny people that smell. So... <laughs> <laughs> what you got to say about that, skinny bitches? I think if if uh, if everybody that was big that didn't bathe um, as often as they should, then um, if they did bathe, then that whole whatever would go away. Yeah, you know what's sad though? There's a lot of people that can't. You know, there's a lot of people that can't bathe every day. And, you know, like you see on the, what is it, my 600-pound life? Yeah. That, ha you know, they can't get up and bathe. And, unfortunately, they have all those rashes again. And notice they all have those rashes because they can't get up and bathe. They have, like, um, sponge baths and stuff. And they don't completely dry them. It's hard for them to get completely dried because they're in bed and everything. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So there was one on my 600 pound life where she got the, like, it looked like a toilet bowl scrubber. I don't know. I'm sure it wasn't in the toilet. And then on her that, where she could get like underneath her um, legs and stuff. Yeah. That's and, not a um, bowl scrubber. You're silly girl. They have those brushes for people. It's for when you want to wash your back and stuff when you can't reach your back. Oh, um, well, <laughs> I think it was that. It looked like my total bowl scrubber. And she like she got to town with that sucker. She's like, I'm getting I'm on a mission. Yeah. So I mean, it can be done. Yeah. But it's harder, you know what I mean? Like you can't blame a lot of these people that are unmobile, you know, and stuff. Yeah, but there's a lot of able bodies who don't Yeah. Yeah, there you go. They don't want to do it because they want it done for them and they yeah. don't want to work at something because they think that it's just going to come easy to them. And that's yeah. nothing in life is easy. Yeah. No, I never had that problem. I never, um, fortunately I was never un unmobile and I was always able to do everything for myself. So, Hey, I was 500 plus shaving my legs and to polishing my toes. And I'm a very flexible person. Oh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I was waiting for something like that. Uh -huh. So even at 500 pounds, you were shaving your legs? Yes. You could ask my sister. My sister hates on me. She's going over here because she can't polish her toes at... And couldn't polish my toes at 160. And couldn't polish her toes at 160. And here I am, a 500 pound plus polishing my toes, shaving my legs, buckling my bra, brushing my hair. Like, I never... No, that's when I can't repeat my own. Toes. Oh, yeah. She hurt back. her back. Last time she tried to polish her toes. You hurt your back, huh? She hurt her back. Yeah, That's I never crazy. I never had to have help in the shower, thankfully, or brush my hair or tie my shoes or any of that. But, you know, well, maybe tie my shoes once in a while. But um, mm -hmm. thankfully, I just I was just so damn determined to do it myself. Yeah, that could be it, too. For me, it was, you know, both determination and I guess for me having to ask for help mm -hmm. um it was kind of sad like yeah. even though sometimes it would be painful for one thing or another because I have a really bad lower back so it was only a little worse well right now I'm having a lot of back problems too but it's still it was still worse you know for many different reasons at that weight but having to ask for help to do anything, I guess for me, it was kind of like a shame. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, damn, I can't even put my shoes on anymore kind of thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I always did everything for myself. And like I said, I polished my toes and everything, you know, I because I'm the kind of person that if you don't have your toes did, you better not be wearing open toe saddles because that's just nasty. <laughs> That's like one of my pet peeves. And like literally get grossed out when I turn around and people have like half their pol toes polished and wearing open toe shoes. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh God. 
Like, There's worse things out there, Lena. I oh, God. For me, that's way up there, girl. Trust <laughs> me. It's just one of the things. But, I think um, also when you do have good hygiene, um, taking a shower, taking care of yourself, um, even if you're not active, sexually active, groom yourself, you know, things like that will make you feel better about yourself. And when you feel better about yourself, you're going to want to look better and feel better. And it all goes hand in hand. So take your shower, put your makeup on, even if you're not going to leave the house, make yourself yes. feel better. Yes. And I've said this many times before. And unfortunately I've had to refrain from saying this a couple of times in our support groups, because there is people out there mm -hmm. that I know I could hurt feelings by saying this, but I refused and refused, but refused to be the fat girl in sweatpants and a t-shirt. You never, when, when do you see me in sweatpants and t-shirt, sister? Never, but they're very comfy, I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm with your sister. I, <laughs> I wear t-shirts all the time, but I, I, I wear jeans. With I, I don't. I think I own right now like three t-shirts and um, one is probably mine and the other two are my brother's mm -hmm. and I wear them. Um, but I wear them with my jeans and I dress them up, you know, with my jewelry and whatever. Mm -hmm. I try to, yeah, something. But um, sweatpants, I probably have two pairs that my mom got me, like, shh, my nephew was little, so, like, 15 years ago, probably. And I still have them, and I wear them around in the winter to sleep in and stuff. But like to go out, like that was always my thing. That's another thing. It's like, huh? You get ready to go to the gym. I do. I, I, I do. These girls know. They know about me going to the gym. Yeah. You put makeup on when you go to the gym? I put a little bit of lip gloss. And your eyelashes. Maybe. maybe. No, I only went. My eyelashes, if I have them on and I'm going to go to the gym right now, I'm not going to take them off. But if I was to go in the shower because I went somewhere and I'm not going to gym, blah, 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 like I won't get completely did up, but I will, you know, pin my hair with a little bow. Matching barrette and her shirts off her shoulder and matching shoes. I don't Why is she like calling on you? I, I, I don't know. He wrong. Oh, excuse me. She's an audience, she said. Oh, she watching, so. She, yeah, she watching, so she's an audience. Um, but that's one thing that I refuse to be and not, not, not to make anybody, anybody feel bad because that's just me. Okay. You guys, it's okay. If you guys feel comfortable in your sweatpants and t-shirts and, you know, maybe for a reason or another, you don't feel comfortable or you can't fit in in certain clothes. Like I understand, but for me, um, first of all, I know how to sew, so I could sew me up something. Mm -hmm. or alter me something so even at my highest if you guys you know could see pictures of me this is what I look like just way bigger but I've always been a did up kind of person like I've never been sweatpants and a t-shirt at all I've always been done up and like Trisha said it's very important even let's okay even if that's all you could wear are stretchy pants sweatpants and t-shirts you know, just iron them, keep them clean, add a little bit of flair to them, you know, a little bit of color, not just gray and black or whatever. Make yourself feel good and um, keep yourself clean if you can or get help. There's no, nothing bad with asking for help, you know, if mm -hmm. you can't do it. If you really, really can't not do it, ask for help. If you think you can, try people. Try and make you feel better knowing that you did it, you know, but if you're going to get hurt doing it, then ask for help. But, you know, keep yourself clean, smelling good, using body sprays, lotions, you know, and everything. And you will feel better. You seriously, seriously will feel better. It, it, it works for me. It works for me. Even when I'm feeling down and stuff, like, I'm like, you know, that's it. I've been feeling down for a couple of days, been in my PJs or whatever, you know, time to get did up and go at least for a drive and a walk to the store, mm -hmm. even though I'm not going to buy anything. You know what I mean? It just yeah. feels good to try to look good. Go walk your dog or something. Yeah. 
Like, what I do is, for some reason, like, I love clothes. Oh, my God, I love clothes. Not and you. And accessories and everything. But I haven't been, sh- well, I went to the mall or I went to stores and I've looked at stuff. And I love trying clothes on and stuff. But I haven't bought anything for months, 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 months. Because I'm just frustrated that I'm basically at the same weight and I refuse to buy anything smaller or anything bigger or you know it is what it is I'm stuck and I'm stuck with my clothes and I'm financially not stable right now either and stuff but it's you gotta still, go work it's, that corner girl girl I said you know what I seen a big girl the other day let's change the subject real quick just for a minute so where I live at literally around the corner from my house um there is a street that runs from city to city. It's like a huge street. It changes names, but it's the same street or whatever. And um, there's hella prostitutes, hella prostitutes. And it's sad because they're very young and some are so pretty and so young and some are, and some are God, Lord Jesus, but some are beautiful. So the other day we were passing by and there was one that was probably a little bigger than me. And she was wearing a dress with some wedges, but her dress was like to her knees. I was like, no, oh, fuck that shit. If you're going to be working the corner, like men like big girls, men like big girls, I'll be like, I'll be wearing this tank top on with some high ass heels and that'll be in my little butt hanging out or something. That little, she was not prostitute. Um, How do you say it? She needs to watch Pretty Woman or what? Attire. She, my sister said she didn't have on um, prostitute attire on. Oh well, so I would I would have worn okay. I would have worn the dress she had on, but I would have been cutting that shit. Well, you didn't. You need to. You need to start a school. We have a thing in in in, in uh, that's the saying in Spanish that says the one that doesn't show doesn't sell. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Well, yep. on that note, let's uh, let's read some of these comments. Um. <laughs> Charlene says, fat people flaps and roly-poly do smell. If you don't, <laughs> If you don't bathe, they really smell. If you bathe regularly and practice good hygiene, you don't smell. Skinny people smell too. Soap and water are our friends. If yes. you can't bathe every day and have no one to care for you, truth be told, you smell. It doesn't make you a bad person, just smelly. As someone told me many years ago, every woman needs to shower in the morning. The fungus and skin breakdown makes prudent smells. It's not the person, but the fungal rash. That was a very, very good informative comment. Love it. And uh, someone, I cannot, A-Z-E-R-T-Y-U-I-O-P says, what the fuck? On what? Um, a teeny tiny tummy for Christine says, hello, ladies. Congratulations on re- reaching the 300s, Trisha. Whoop, whoop. I love her. She's so sweet. Um, Charlene says, I agree. Bird baths do not work. If you do not bathe every day and dry well, your skin will start to break out, break down because the roly polies do not get air circulated in all those areas. And the skin starts to perspire, making the area moist. And a breeding ground for fungus. Baby wipes do not kill the bacteria that is waiting to breed. I thought you were talking about chub rub when you were looking at the word boil. But if you wear tight jeans, hair follicles on your legs or wherever can become ingrown from the pants. Thereby causing boils. Not fun. The best powders are the ones with micro... Myco, M-A-Z-O-L-E, same as Monistat. Huh? Oh, I thought she was talking about Chonis for a second. No, no, no. The The powders. uh Yeah, the ones with the yeast stuff. If you get a fungal rash, those are quick healers. I use them sometimes to prevent measures. I must powder the flaps every morning or (laughs) I don't feel comfortable. Hold on, there's more. You can also use your hair dryer real fast. Laugh out My loud. Sister. You just said that. Ha ha ha. The AC mm-hmm. too. Well, Charlene, we appreciate your input. That's that's really helpful. Thank you. Very informative. So, um, oh, Alicia says, sorry, I was late. <laughs> and uh, Christine says, bullying is a great topic. 
As far as hygiene, I was anemic at my highest weight, so I had to choose cleanliness over cuteness. I did not <laughs> have the energy for both. Now I am able to do my hair and makeup sometimes and put together cute outfits too. And SV, you're always adorable. I don't know what you're thinking about. <laughs> Uh, Real is live says hi ladies. Damn late again. I need to set a timer or something so I can make it on time. <laughs> and Tiffany, yeah, here says, <laughs> Tiffany says, first off, I shower even before I clean the house. Also, if you are a sweatpants person, at least they can be clean and nice looking. I hate seeing people with pants with holes. Oh, I hate that too. Yeah. Yeah. And dingy, dingy shirts. Yeah, buy some bleach, people. At yeah, the come on, store. You come gotta on, do big, it. big people, don't make us look bad. Really. If it's a money situation, I totally understand. But if it's yeah. just being lazy, mm -mm. yeah. Well, even with the money situation, you know, you don't have to be all dingy and nasty. You can still wash your clothes in the sink and stuff. You know, there's there's ways around it. Yeah, there's always ways. Um, yeah. You can go to. Um, Catholic Charities and get you some bleach. I know for a fact on that one. Well, um, I guess we read all the comments. Nirvana is asleep. Her husband messaged me saying that she knocked out. So um, we'll have her next week on, hopefully, with Jennifer Bleacher. If you guys have any questions for Jennifer, send them to us. Um, if they're mean, I won't read them. I'll nope. tell you that. Mm, oh. Nope. But I don't. I can't imagine anybody saying anything mean about Jennifer. No. So, um, other than that, do you have anything else to say, Lena? No. But what about you? Like, do you have any good tips out there or anything? As far as hygiene goes, yeah. Um, Besides what we've all said, just a sprinkle a day. What kind of sprinkle? Why don't you come over and I'll show you. Mm. Girl, bust out the plastic sheets again. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get wet over there. I'm already. Oh shit! <laughs> Welcome to the Trisha and Lena flirt hour. This always happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know when we like finally get to hang out, we're just gonna have to make out. Hell yeah! Like if that doesn't happen, like I don't know. I don't I'm know if I can handle it. Yeah, don't feel. Yeah. Is is me Ray gonna like beat me up? No, I've I've talked to him about it. He's okay. okay. He's good. He's well, good. I I gotta figure out how I can like make out with you and your sister because she's got the big boobs. You heard that? Oh well, she can't hear you. Trisha wants to know how she's gonna have to figure out how she Hello? can make out with both me and you because now you're the one with the big boobs That's since okay. I lost my. That's incest, she said. <laughs> not for me. Give it, you, not for you, but for us. That's okay. I get one on one side and the other on the other side. She said one on one side and one on the other. She said, no. -uh. <laughs> it's a party up in here. What about <laughs> uh -huh. Lena's on Friday and Sister's on Saturday? There you go. Lena's on Friday, Sister's on Saturday. Oh, <laughs> What'd she say? Oh, dang. All oh, day. I got... All this for you guys. All this. See, see what happens when when you lose your boobies, people. She has to replace you with some boobylicious with another boobylicious person. That's okay. I'm after your poopa. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a lot there. We know you got some of that. <laughs> Christina just came back in time for all the flirting. <laughs> <laughs> Christina, we want to know if you have. I don't know if you were watching us while you were off, or if you've seen. You were hearing while you were on, but if you have any good tips on hygiene, probably like any, like anything, everything, anything you could think of that it's out of the ordinary. Like we have out of the ordinary um, secrets that you don't usually hear people do to keep clean or dry or anything like that. Like, do you have anything of that? Take a bath, keep dry, keep you know, dry your rollies. Rolly polies. Rolly polies. Your rollies and your polies. <laughs> yeah, see, that's a big one, people. I think, you know, keeping dry and washing up should solve the problem. The whole towel thing under the boob. Yeah. 
And in the rollies, I do that all the time. Yeah, I, I do. That's why I'm saying it. You know, I thought I was the only one, but then I heard other people doing it and seeing people on TV. I was like, oh, I do yeah. that. I do it all the time. Shut it underneath there and yeah. walk around. Yeah. Yeah. You dry up, but I'm sorry, you're not completely dried up. Your body out here dries up because it's still getting air dry. But if it's folded, you could dry it when you were out the shower, but it's still moist. Mm -hmm. So sticking the towel between your roly polies, your food plate, your boobies, your armpits, wherever you think it's still going to be moist, do that, and I bet you it will help a lot. Even if you already have swords and stuff, try all of this, and then once you have the towel there for about half an hour or whatever, and then take it off and then put your little powders on. Mm -hmm. And if you're in a hurry, use a blow dryer. What? And if you're in a hurry, use a blow dryer. And if you're in a hurry, use a blow dryer like my sister said. Or like one of those big fans, and you could just stand in there and just that, my my little that would, hello. That would not, that would not be a good thing for me if I stand in one. You know the ones like they have in Costco or the yeah Netflix, the big the ones, big like ones. The huge ones. My, yeah. my 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 everything would be like. Yeah. <laughs> that's my hi Helen. I call oh, it hi Helen. <laughs> oh, there you go, like the dogs on the freeway. <laughs> <laughs> Sticking hey, her body out the window. Whatever works. Whatever works, girls. Whatever works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, do you have anything else to say, uh, Christina? Nope. Christina made a video. You guys go check it out. She updated everybody on her health. And um, what about, um, do you want to talk about anything else, Christina? Like what? Any news? Nothing interesting. I'm, I'm tell everybody that you're a grandma, first off. I wish. You, your daughter's puppies had... Oh, her wait, puppy. you're a great grandma now. I want a human. <laughs> great. <laughs> Soon. Soon. I keep telling Lena I'm trying to get Lena impregnated. <laughs> Not no? yet. No baby. I need, I need to lose more weight, girl. I'm almost 300 pounds getting pregnant. Mm -mm. No. Girl, it it can happen. Sure. No, I know it could happen. I'm pretty sure. He, the, the, yeah. There's no problem when it comes to what could happen. Yeah. yeah. But no I'm problem just, here. I just hope we gave you guys some pointers, um, just from you know what we've experienced and. Um, there's no shame because we've all been there, except for Lena, of course. Um, what? <laughs> you don't get the rashes? I used to get those rashes bad. I don't. I'm sorry. But I guess it's because I, of what I've done. I'm telling you, I don't let it get to that, I guess, because once it's, I start feeling weird and I look and it starts looking pink, I'm like, <gasps> and I wash, you know, I go in the shower, wash up and do the whole towel thing and I don't. But there's a lot of people that don't think about that. Don't think, okay, I washed up, I dried up, and why am I still getting them? Because you're not, it's not completely dry. So yeah. that's you why I guess I it. never, yeah, I, and like I said, it's not a good, it's a good thing, but it's not a good thing because if I did have rashes and stuff, my insurance would probably, excuse me, my insurance would probably pay to cut off um, my stomach. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, if you don't have no sores and all of that, you know, it, it there's there's just no way it's considered um cosmetic. So. Well, I can come over with a knife and just cut your. <laughs> You're trying to make chicharrones out of my stomach, aren't you? I am. I want some chicharrones bad. Girl, you can make hella chicharrones. You can have chicharrones and fupachones. <laughs> <laughs> you can make some menudo with mine. There you go. She said you can make some menudo with mine. Oh, wow. You can put my foot in there. You know how they put the pig's foot in there. Mm hmm. That's my honey's favorite. <laughs> oh, gosh. My mom used to yeah. suck on that thing. I'm like, ugh. Hey, but you know what? If you make menudo and you make pozole without that, it doesn't taste the same. Mm, that it sounds doesn't, good. It doesn't taste the same. I make it with all that weird stuff. I'm sure you do. I put them in the pressure cooker, and it literally falls apart and stuff. But I don't eat it, but it makes the broth taste a lot better. 
Our grandpa I used to um, put the tongue in there. Mm-hmm. Mm, tacos de lengua. Yummy. High, high protein. Mm -mm. Okay, well, let's end this week. Just went way off topic. so Yes, we did. Um, Why do the fat girls have to end it with talking about food? Because we fat girl. Cupcake? <sighs> did somebody say cupcake? Did somebody say churros? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you guys next week with Jennifer Bleacher, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. Bye.